welcome back to the channel guys thanks for joining me um, I'm just saying my piece and today we are in Linstead we are looking at a development by a company called Kayla Arcada company limited and uh, they are at one church street and this is in Linstead st. Catherine um, they have some really great developments as you can see this is uh, something called um, King's Landing Country Club and uh, we are going to take a look in their um, demonstration house today. Um, the one we're going to take a look at is a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom, two car garage and this is 2360 square feet area the the units are fully air conditioned they come with ceiling fans in all the rooms and they are plugged for solar energy and of course as an added bonus your lawns are completely manicured they also come with a camera surveillance system which is sort of a bit optional but that is not much of an issue I'm sure you will be able to you will opt for that um, the what we're looking at right now is also a, a separate development that is also on the same property and that would be an apartment complex but what we're going to look at is um, a semi-finished a three bedroom unit of the same type that we are now looking at on the screen right here so come with me guys and we are going to have some fun today well the colors definitely look nice Double car garage. Cobblestones. Double door entrance at the front. Oh, okay. Oh, open concept living dining, dining and kitchen. Your phone are calling me, Diane. Your phone calling me. So open concept living dining and presumably down here is going to be the kitchen area right here and these are what 15 feet ceiling it would seem vaulted ceiling and apparently there will be pot lights around so these appear to be 15 foot ceilings And partly the furniture is partly there already. You're going to have your sink here. And of course, there's a rear patio. Right here. And And I presume this area here would be your laundry area. Um, my estimation is that it's about six feet by eight feet wide. Large window, small backyard, not very big, but uh, I'm pretty sure one could do something with this. Um, Nice garden could be planted around here. And the design, quite frankly, the design is quite appealing. It's not bad at all. And of course here, here's your fence line going across here. So even at the side here, 
if one chooses not to make a lawn of any sort, one could plant fruit trees and or a some sort of a garden somewhere along right here. And so there seems to be provisions also for security cameras and lights and the roof is not bad. So let's take a look on the inside and of course the wall is quite high. Um, that section there is about, I would say about 12 feet high. And if you wanted to put another, some more in here for your own security. And of course, there appears to be a security lamp there, although I think it's just there temporarily. But it is quite nice. Of course, this back patio could host a few chairs and so on. And this is the view from the rear toward the front. And I'm over to my left right here. Presumably will be the bedrooms. And I like the idea that if you take a good look at this, this is one of the aspects of a good design. You notice that the door, to, this presumably is the bathroom. I haven't been there yet, but I am going to presume that it is the bathroom. And if you notice, the door is actually on this side. What that does is to prevent anyone from actually standing in the living room and seeing directly into the bathroom should the bathroom door open inadvertently. So that's actually a very good design. I'll make a little left here and this is going to be another bedroom. Let me see if the door is open. Yes. And it is a little chopped up, but it is a, it is a good sized bedroom and a bit of vaulted ceiling as you can see and good lighting also now just a second let me just go over here take a good look and here is your closet right here and a little bit of storage space atop there this is quite nice um let's see what we have here this may be a bathroom and a jackpot See, here we are, bathroom right here, very nice, nicely appointed, the tiles are nicely done, small linen closet inside of your bathroom right here, doesn't need to be very big, just something that you can get all your stuff in, and if we take a look right here, nice basins, nicely tiled, quite high, and nice windows so as you can see this is really nicely done now this is not a bath that you're going to sit down in and take a bath in really and um, it's more of a large shower but it is adequate and of course your toilet nothing special but it is there and of course and believe it or not i have actually seen brand new buildings that have no sockets in the bathroom and uh, you know that's hardly a good idea given the fact that most ladies need to primp and prim and some of us men too honestly anyhow yes yeah, so this is pretty nice now this is the passage looking from the bedroom on the left and so we are going to go through here. I should also note that the doors are not your standard doors. They are a little wider than normal. And that's a really good idea given the fact that sometimes your furniture is a little oversized and you do need a wider doorway for them to fit in because not everything can be dismantled. So let's go in here. We're going to make a little left and I am presuming this is the essentially the master bathroom or not necessarily because they're both exactly the same um, yeah pretty much the same as the other one exactly the same in fact so nothing special here just the same as usual a little bit of storage on top of that living closet there and uh, this is interesting now this is the bedroom here and as you can see here you are so storage in it but things stored in it but it is quite nice um 
and of course you have your closet there with a little bit of storage on top but here is the interesting part now if you look here one would expect a door to come across here somewhere where there isn't so presumably this is designed as a master suite because here you have your door on this side right here so come in here boom, 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 boom. you close your door Bob's your uncle and so we're back over on this side here directly across here let's take a look at what is here now as I said I haven't seen this yet so I'm just sort of just exploring the whole thing and interesting got a little bit of step up here too in fact so let's go around here and see what is up here and oh now we find the master suite this is beautiful vaulted ceilings and i presume it will have potted lights running around the top somewhere up there uh, i would say this room is somewhere around 16 by 16 at the minimum and so here we have this is in fact the master suite so look around let's take a quick look around it very 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 large room you see beautiful tile nicely finished lots of light large windows and take a look here this would be your walk-in closet it's a little dark what you can see there and it would be his and hers walk-in closet because here you are on the other side nicely done and here is your master bathroom very large very spacious and if i were to criticize and i will this is a very large mm, shower space it being a master bedroom, it really should have a proper bath. And that would be my only criticism of this particular design. If there were to be a criticism where the, which there is. So, yeah. I think they fell down on this one, personally. But it is still nicely done. Very tall ceiling, large windows. In fact, two of them in your one bathroom. Of course, one presumes that there will be storage spaces somewhere here and there is an exit here for something which may be a bidet or something to that effect. But this is a very large, very spacious master bathroom. His and her um, sink, of course. And again, the, the doorways are very large because, as you know, we are not always going to be in the best of health and something like a wheelchair may be able to go to, will be able to go to this doorway as a matter of fact. So, and looking out here, sorry for the camera work, which may not be as great as it should be. Here we are, we're looking directly out onto our front patio. Uh -huh. Actually, I think this would be your double car garage. Mm, questionable design along that area, but um, given the fact that there look, appears that there will be no garage door on it, I think that is okay. And of course, this door is going to lead to your, your outside patio. So, I'm going to step down a little bit. And let's explore a little bit. Let's see what is behind door number nothing. Oh, and this is your half bathroom here. Now for me, my um, <clears throat> less well-heeled friends, sorry, so to speak, let me explain what the half bathroom is. A half bathroom is this. There is no shower. It simply has a sink and a toilet. And if you have guests over, they'll be able to, you know, do the necessities and wash their hands. And that is exactly what a half bathroom is supposed to be. And it is exactly where it should be, which is directly off of your living room space. So this is nicely done. So here we are back and again i must apologize for the shaky camera work but here we are once more out in the living space and i like this living space it is large it is spacious and it is very very tall 
this will be one very cool living area so <laughs> and buddy there he's fast asleep i'm not even going to show him he he's been working all night so here we are ladies and gentlemen and as you can see there are lots of furniture that has not been installed yet because this place will come completely completely furnished now let me just take you back outside and give you a quick view oh by the way i should let you have a look at the tiling the tiling is beautiful it's absolutely flawless so let's take you back outside let you have a look from here and this is oh i'm sorry the um the land rover doesn't come with it but yeah good try and here we are this is what it looks like from the outside beautiful 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 and these are for sale so you anybody who is interested you can take a look at the beginning of the video get your information from the signage there and call up and get your pricing and so on and so forth and it is a fairly nice community as you can see there are many many other houses there they are not all cookie cutters they are not made all the same and uh, they are pretty much custom so you can take a look around here well guys thanks for watching i'm just saying my piece and this has been another house tour video so as usual you all have a great day